Good afternoon, FlossTube. It's Jody, Simply Stitching Ocala, and this is episode number 16. Happy New Year. Um, if you're returning, thanks for coming back. And if you're new, I'm glad to see you. So this is a channel about my cross stitch or crafting updates. And so I'll just do like quick life update. Um, we had a great Christmas. Some of our family was sick, so we ended up hosting, which was fine. Um, my husband and I did a quick trip to Nashville, which I have never been to before, um, the week between Christmas and New Year's. If you love live music, it was fantastic. We had so much fun. It's crazy because the live music starts at like 9.30 in the morning and goes until 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so any time of the day, you can walk on Broadway. Um, we stayed at a really, really nice Airbnb that was only a couple blocks away, super reasonable price. Um, and we just had the best time. We just flew in. We didn't have a car. We walked. I mean, we didn't do the Opry and all those type of things. We just were there to listen to live music and it was great. Um, and then last weekend, we helped my daughter and her husband. My son helped um, put up fencing. Or my grandbaby who is 22 months which is crazy that in two months that he's gonna be two already um, put up fencing in their backyard so that he will stop running in the neighbor's yard <laughs> um, so um, that's just a quick little life update as far as plans even though I know it's halfway through January I am gonna put up a separate video on my plans um, just because if I want to show it would take it would take too long <laughs> to show the things, but just like a brief overview, really quick, in case you don't want to watch that video. Um, so I purchased this planner this year, and this is just a small one by Happy Planner. I got it at Joann's, and it's only a four by seven size. And sorry, I was moving this out of the way. I made like a little quick, um, little zipper pocket that my pens are in. <laughs> um, anyways. I originally started last year with a happy planner that was much bigger. It was like the eight and a half by 11 size. And I keep the current projects that I'm working on in this basket um, where I stitch. And I just felt like it was taking up too much room all the time. So I wanted to go with something smaller. Um, basically, it's just for me to also keep track when I start things, when I finish things. I'm just kind of writing every day um, what I do like what I stitch on that day or if I went to meet my friends for a stitching day or when I'm at a retreat um, because I can't remember so um, and my plans this year loosely are I have 20 no I have 12 whips picked out so one whip a month to work on for a week um, and when I say a week it might not be a week continuously I should just say like seven days um, because I get bored at night. I mean, I normally stitch at night from like eight to 10-ish. It's usually my stitching time. I mean, sometimes on the weekend, if we're like doing nothing, which doesn't happen that often, but if we are doing nothing, then I get more stitching time. But generally, I only stitch at night from like eight to 10. Might be 7.30, sometimes could be 10.30. <laughs> um, but so work on a whip, one of the whips that I pulled for like seven days. Um, I have also pulled seven new starts that I would like to start this year. So work on that for seven days, which then I'll just have more whips, but hopefully not because maybe I'll finish some of the whips. Um, then do an ornament or a smalls um, item that month, like completely finish it. Cause if it's small, I should be able to finish that in a seven day period. Um, I have five retreats that I'm going to this year. So that's five smalls exchanges. And then recently just one came up right now, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, so I just feel like if I can if I can do those ahead of time, I don't, I am not a last minute person. <laughs> I do not like to be making table mate gifts the day before, because that's just me. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's what I plan to do um, to make sure that I'm ahead, like I have exchange pieces ready to go. Otherwise, then I may not participate, you know, if I don't have them ready. Um, and then also seven days out of the month, I plan to work on Teresa Kogut. Um, I'm in her Patreon and she has released a 
24 month stitch along. Um, it's a large piece. Um, I don't even think, I don't know, I don't have the stitch count. Anyways, I'll, I'll talk about that later, but that's something I'm gonna work on. Um, cross my fingers. <laughs> I can stick to it for two years because it's a long time for me to commit. <laughs> so we may or may not be revisiting that and, and somebody might be like, what happened to that? But hopefully I'm going to stick to it. So um, I'll talk about two different, um, like one exchange, one stitch along. So when I just talked about making smalls and stuff. So Holly, Mrs. Jones stitches. She has it up right now. I'm not sure how long she's keeping it open. Maybe it just depends on, I don't know if she has a cap for how many participants, um, but you can go over to her channel um, or go, phys oh, sorry, on Instagram. She does have a YouTube channel too, Mrs. Jones Stitches. But if you go to her Instagram, she has a post up there right now and the link is in her bio to sign up and she is hosting a Blackbird Design Smalls Exchange. So, um, you can head on over there and that's something that you can do. You don't have to go to a retreat. It's a virtual where you're going to mail. You're going to get somebody else's name, Instagram handle, and you're going to stitch up something Blackbird for them. And um, it's not required. Some people send extra goodies, but I believe that your person is supposed to have it by like March 1st. So for smalls, that's, you know, you have like a month and a half. So that's a great... Um, new virtual exchange that you can do um, with Holly Jones, Mrs. Jones Stitches on Instagram. And then um, an additional stitch along I'm going to do is with Nicole Spohr and she's gonna be hosting um, the Valentine's Friendship Stitch Along 2024. That's the hashtag for it. Um, and it's gonna be, it starts actually tomorrow the 17th and it's going to be, um, the Valentine's Day Quaker Pattern by Primrose Cottage. So I know a ton of people ordered and hopefully you'll get yours in time. If not, you can jump in whatever. Um, I believe it goes the stitching part for three weeks and then the last week is like a finishing. Um, so um, go follow Nicole Spore on Instagram. Um, and also she does amazing YouTube videos. You can follow her there as well. And that's for the Valentine's Friendship 2024. So I'm definitely doing the Valentine's um, stitch along because I had planned on doing that as well already. Um, and I'm debating on the Mrs. Jones. Like I said, I'm going to five retreats this year. I'm super lucky. Four of them are in Florida, so they're drivable because I live in Florida. And then I am doing Stitch Con A um, again this year, um, going with my friend Felicia, who's never gone, so I'm excited. Um, Felicia does not have a YouTube channel, but you can follow her on Instagram. She's Floss and Box, and she has a great Etsy store that has different fabrics for finishing and some cross-stitch supplies and stuff, so go uh, um, follow her as well. But that's who I'm going to StitchCon with this year. So let's talk about previous finishes. Um, okay, let's do... Oh, and I forgot to say, <laughs> today which is the 16th of January, is my one year anniversary on Floss Tube. Woo! <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I've had fun. My original goal was originally to, you know, post every two weeks or so. And I was able to do that in the beginning. And then life with my dad and, and, and some other health issues and stuff came up. And it, it hasn't happened. So, you know, I only did 15 videos. <laughs> in 2023 but I'm okay with that this is just my hobby this is just for fun I work um, I take care of my grandbaby sometimes you, you know like like everyone does I have life and this is just um, for fun and to share and hopefully like I love watching other people's floss tubes and I love seeing their finishes and getting ideas from other people so that's just what I want to pass along and hopefully you get something fun from me okay so enough on that, we'll move to previous finishes. And I know I hate when this happens, but I have finishes where I, I don't know because I didn't keep track. So um, this one is one. So this is a frame from, this was actually from the Target um, dollar spot. And I don't know, but, so this was already here and, and so was this. 
So all I did, whatever the saying is behind there, I covered up. Um, and again, I want to say this is probably a freebie, but I don't remember. Um, I did try to, I took a picture and I Google searched it and um, I couldn't find it. So I'm sorry, but this, and this sits in my family room. Um, I realized when I put out my Valentine decorations, I really don't have like a ton, a ton of stitch pieces. Um, but I'll have a few more because I have a few that I've just finished. Um, okay, this one, this is Bless Your Heart by Stitching with the Housewives. And this is on a little gumball machine that I believe, yeah, it was from Hobby Lobby last year. Um, so I don't know if they have it again this year. The SKU number, in case you want to look, is 5758701. But I just thought it looked so cute. And with it was aqua and red, and that's what I did that in. Um, so that sits on a shelf in my family room. The next one, this is a freebie by Erica Michaels called Hugs and Kiss Freebie. And this one I turned into a little pillow. Ooh, there's fuzz, sorry. Um, and again, I don't remember what it stitched on because again, this was before I started keeping track. But this sits in my dough bowl on my kitchen table, but it's really sad because this is the only thing in it with some pink and red petals. So hopefully I can have another finish or two to put in there because it's pretty sad it's by itself. Um, okay. And the last, um, the last one, this one, um, so it just had like a week ago, has been a year since I went to the All Things Winter Retreat in South Florida. Um, and so I sat with my friends, I had Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher was there, and Felicia who I mentioned, and Chantel, and um, Allison, if you follow Alley Cat on Instagram, she's my bud. Um, and the table next to us, Holly was there, and Hannah, the Stitch Fairy. Um, anyways, so for me, this piece, because I finished stitching this at um, that retreat. So this is um, Big Hearted Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. This would be the only one that I've actually stitched and finished. Um, and I can't, I mean, it's on, I, I don't remember the fabric. Again, I'm sorry, that was before I started keeping track, but see, I'm gonna be better because I have my own stitch cards that I made, that I've been using to keep track of the things. Um, and I'm gonna keep them in a box that I got from Chantel. Anyways, this, so this is called, um, so the pattern again is Big Hearted Tiny Town by Heart and Hand, and I'm sure you've seen them. And I bought this um, shelf center piece from Chantel that I finished. I finished it just white with like some rubbed look. And my intention is to make multiple um, patterns of the different seasons for Tiny Town. Not sure when that's gonna happen. <laughs> so right now this one just comes out for Valentine's Day, but um, it's a great piece. So um, this actually comes off as well and then I did um, you know magnets and washers on here so that um, eventually when I stitch the other ones I can <laughs> uh, put them on here as well so again that you can go to Chantel that's Chantel's 141 design company and those are um, shelf it's called a shelf sitter so those are my previous finishes so I don't have any fully finished this week. Um, I have several finished, but nothing fully finished. Um, I'll be honest, I had the day off for Martin Luther King Day, and I had every intention on fully finishing items. And then Teresa Kogut actually released part one of the pattern, and I literally went back and forth on if I was going to do it, if I was going to start it, if I was not going to start it, go to the store. Anyways, I ended up going to the store to get all the called for DMC, because if I get something in my head, it's hard for me to like turn it off. Um, and so I ran out of time for finishing yesterday, which is fine. It, it's all good. 
So, like I said, my plan for this year is to, I had 12 whips, one for each month that I pulled out that I want to work on for a week. So this one that I have, um, this was, again, this is a whip, so it was before I was keeping track, but this is um, Love by Madame Chantilly. I believe that's what, um, okay, I'm going to pause for just a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's called My Love by Madame Chantilly. Sorry about that. So this is the pattern. And I used the called for DMC. And I'm actually going to do this as a giveaway today for this pattern that was mine and the floss, um, which I'll talk about at the end. But um, so this was, um, I believe, like, a, so it's a called for DMC. And I believe this was done on 16 count shale. Like I said, I did not, was not keeping track. And so this was the whip that I had picked for January to work on. And it's crazy because it only took me two nights and then it was finished. Um, and I actually, in my haul section, which I'll show later, this is actually, I won't show it later then, <laughs> but this is actually a frame, and I'm not really a big frame person, but this was a frame that was on sale at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was on clearance. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of like a lattice -y, and it actually looks really pretty with this in there. I'm mean, oh, sorry, this is all wrinkled. I didn't iron anything. <laughs> um, anyways, so this is really pretty, and like I said, it only took me two nights to get that finished, and I'm going to do that um, as one of the giveaways today. Okay, next up is, um, the next one is uh, the Love Mini Quaker. So let's see who's this. Okay, so this is a freebie um, that you can find from the Heart Needle Heart and it's called love mini pattern and i did it on 20 count fiber on a whim morganite and i actually ended up just using one color i used gentle arts hibiscus which is pretty it has a decent amount of variegation so you can really see it goes from like reds to pinks um, I mean, it's an extreme change, but it's enough that I only use that one thread. And like I said, that's a freebie Love Mini um, Quaker from the Heart Eagle Art. The next one, and I had that written down so I could actually tell you. <laughs> uh, let's see. The next one is called Vias for Valentine and this is also a freebie from Pineberry Lane and this one I did um, on 20 count Tuscan by Fiber on a Whim Fabric and the floss I used was Blushing Beauty and it's just a cute little one with birds on it and I'm gonna make it into a tiny pillow probably use um, either some pom-poms or something, but to go along with my other lonely pillow that's currently in the dough bowl. The next one, um, this one is, <laughs> so this is the second time I've done this now. I did it with the Liz Matthews, um, I did it with Liz Matthews. I can't think of the name of it. It was a Halloween one. Regardless, I ended up taking my mess up and making it into a little pillow. So this is the second time I've done this now. Somehow I started stitching the pattern and I use a Q-snap and I started stitching it and did a whole bunch and then realized I had started in the wrong direction. So I had stitched it on the vertical instead of the horizontal, so there was no way that the pattern was going to fit. On the upside, <laughs> again, I have five retreats I'm going to go to this year, so that means five, you know, exchanges. 
So I said, I'm just going to finish stitching a little bit over here. And like I moved something else up and shifted it. So anyways, <laughs> this is called um, Stitch. And it's by um, Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. And this is on 20 count. And I'm trying to see because I changed. Let me see. Because I'm currently, it's a whip. I changed, I don't know if I kept the original, let me see. Oh yes, so the original that I did it on, this is called Harvest Wheat and it's 20 count and it's by Coloring Cotton. Um, and the only thing I changed, um, I used all the called for Fancy Floss except for the Deep Fennel I had changed to Shamrock. So. This is the actual pattern. I'll show you. <laughs> Stitch by Pansy Patch Quilts. And then this is my adaptation for uh, messing up <laughs> and stitching in the wrong direction. But it's fine because it's gonna make an adorable little small for a retreat piece. So I'm okay with that. Um, just at least I didn't have to just like scrap it and, and not do anything with it right because who wants to do that that would be horrible so okay so these are all so these are all ones that I've stitched this month um, so I did divert a little bit off of my plan um, so originally this one is called Stitching is My Heart's Desire by Hands on Design. And this was the one that I was stitching for this month for my smalls exchange. So that last stitch one I messed up on was not supposed to be for a smalls exchange, but now it is. Um, so then I did this one on, so this is Stitching is My Heart's Desire by Hands on Design. And I had never seen this pattern before. Um, and I actually, so I stitched this one on 20 count um, Petty Point. And I'm not sure who that's by, but I used the called for DMC. It's only four colors, super cute. Um, and I was looking just for some smalls when I was on one, two, three stitch. And like I said, I'd never seen this when I saw it. So I actually feel like this might be something I may stitch this more than once on different fabric or maybe even use different colors or maybe use the same colors but on different fabric for a different exchange piece because it was a really quick um, finish and I like the stitching is my heart's desire so um, I actually was stitching on this on a zoom call with my friends and so I actually and I didn't have to frog so that's how I know that <laughs> it was it's an easy pattern to stitch so, um, like I said, I'll be stitching that one again, I'm sure. All right, and lastly, um, this just came out last week, I think. Um, and this is called Be Mine by The Camping Stitcher. And it was so cute when I saw it. I was like, oh, it's so cute, even though, again, a little bit off my plan already. But I thought, okay. I finished the whip in two days that I was supposed to have seven days for. Um, I finished the, the stitch. I will finish that maybe even this week. So that's the other thing that I'm supposed to finish or work on for my week. Um, so um, and then the exchange piece ended up being the one I messed up on. So like I feel like I'm like I'm just going to throw some other things in there if I want to. I'm not going to like stick hard and fast to something, you know. Um, so. You can go to Etsy to, to purchase this PDF. She also has paper patterns, but I am definitely a let me get it now person. Um, so I used, um, I did this on 20 count typewriter by Coloring Cotton, and I used the called for DMC, except the gray, um, I changed mine to Shamrock by Classic Color Works. Um, so it's more of a greeny aqua. Ooh, sorry, it's folding over. But so it's definitely, I mean, you know, it's definitely a different look than having it on this light. I like it on the light also, but I just wanted something a little more 
popping. Um, and I do feel like it could still be um, a pillow. The stitch count on this is 90 by 75, but on 20 count that makes it pretty small. So we'll see. I haven't decided really what I'm doing, how I'm finishing any of these yet. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully I'll have some on the next video to show you all finished. Um, so as far as whips, I don't have a ton of whips because those were all whips. Um, so again, the pansy patch quilt one that I had to restart. <laughs> I restarted that um, and for whatever reason I was like you know what I think I'm gonna restart it and I'm gonna restart it on a different fabric um, after I had already stitched it on that other fabric so hopefully I feel like if I work on this um, this week at night the next couple nights I can get this done and this is right now it's on 20 count um, bone yard by Be Stitch Me, and I'm in their club, and I love this color. Um, I just love the modeling on it. And um, again, all the called for um, floss, except instead of deep fennel, I used uh, shamrock. That's the color works. So this is what the new piece is looking like. And I just, I love it on this bone yard. I don't know if it's true color, it's, it's, um, it's rainy and overcast and dark here today, so I feel like my light is not the best, but it's a very mottled, like, a blue-gray with tans. And I don't know if that's showing very well, but it's so pretty. Like, I would love if this was just readily available to purchase. Um, and I don't think it is. I don't think most of those are, but I need to look that up and see if anybody has it. And then the only other whip that I have is the one that I just started so it's not really a whip. All I did after I did all that running around is I took the time since it's going to be for two years and there are 32 flosses um, for the new so it's Teresa Cookett and it's called Hometown and so it's long and narrow so let me see if I open this up my case so I took the time to put all of the floss on floss rings so like this this jumbled mess this month is just what you're like I put a small amount on here this is just what's going to be used for this month and then I have a whole nother ring um, for the additional months um, so let me see this okay so it does okay so the stitch count is 182 by 356 so I'm doing it on 20 count which will make it nine and an eighth by 17 and three quarters. Um, and like I said, so you have to be in her Patreon in the tier four, and then she's going to release it every, every 15th of the month will be another section of, another section of this. So this is the section that she released yesterday. And it's really, so that section is, um, I think it is 50 by 60, which is like a two and a half by three on 20 count. I can't show you the pattern, obviously, but I can tell you that they're all houses because it's called Hometown or they're all shops. She, she named them in her um, YouTube video that you can go watch. And she said that there's a path throughout connecting. And um, so what I did was, <laughs> I, I only did two strands. I only did two strands of fabric. I mean, of thread yesterday, of floss. And you'll see, so what I did, because I was looking and I really like this, this is, um, where's my card? I know what it is though, it's 20 count um, eggshell by Fiber on a Whim um, from one, two, three stitch. And so this is like the 18 by 21 piece or 22 whatever it is and I was like okay well let me see if they have the next size up because that's like cutting it like you know an inch on either side um, and then I have to fit in my q-snap and they they're out of stock so what I decided to do so that I could have plenty of room on the q-snap to work with is I just took a piece of fabric of an old 16 count that I'm not using and I sewed it to the top of this fabric just so that I have the space in the Q-snap because this pattern actually goes up from here. Um, 
and I'm only gonna have like about an inch or so on the top and then the bottom about the same or maybe an inch and a half although she did say at the bottom that it's going to say hometown with two stars on either side and I'm not sure I'll have to wait to see um, I have left enough room to do that but I may not end up doing that which then I'll have plenty of room but anyway so my plan is to hopefully keep up with it if each section is only going to be even though they're super dense if each section is only going to be a two and a half by three a month that hopefully allotting myself a seven days time to work on it um, we'll get that done but I don't know if you can tell I know this is like super tiny but you can see like how dense the house is and I'm sure most of them are going to be like that because that's what it is it's houses um, so um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to keep up with it. Um, okay, as far as haul, I don't. I don't have a ton of haul. Um, I have my. This is be, my Be Stitch Me fabric of the month. And sorry for the crinkling. I haven't taken it out. Um, and I'll take it out. Sorry, because I put them on the comic board strips, and then I have them by color. Sorry. So this is called Blue Moon. And I feel like it's a really pretty blue. Like I feel like it's gonna be really nice for um, for doing patriotic on there. So let me get my board so you can see it. Sorry, sorry. So I feel like it's a really pretty color blue. Like it's showing a little bit brighter on here. It's a little bit darker than that. It's a really nice model, um, like patriotic blue. So that's my club, and then um, I went, I decided to go back and do, I, I was in for like two years, and then I stopped because I was in color and cotton, and I went back to the Floss Fix with um, Fat Quarter Shop, and so you get six skeins each month, and they do it, they're doing it alphabetically right now, so these are C's, and what's crazy is, and I have a ton of classic color works, that's the most I have. Um, only crab cakes on here is one I've seen. So there's cottage daisy, never seen it. It's like a, it's a, actually a really pretty um, yellow that's pretty variegated. Um, take this off, sorry. Um, and I've never seen it before. So I'm just showing these because I've never seen it. Then this cottage garden one, I don't know something that I would necessarily use this in because it goes from like pinks, purples, blue. I mean, it's a very Easter-y, like if you were just going to do like a monochromatic but wanted color variation. Never heard of that one. Um, Country Lane. It's, um, it's like a tan and cream. It has a lot of variegation in that one too. And then Crab Cakes. Um, I'm sure most of you, I, I'm very familiar. I've seen that one a lot. And then one called Creamy peach which is actually a really pretty color for possibly like some um, neutral like face or skin and then this one's called creeping jenny which um it's like a limey light green with um a variegation that sorry lighting not great because it's dark <laughs> um so i got that and then, like I said, that, that frame that you saw that I showed earlier um, was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. This was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty heavy paddle. And then it has, like, that texture on the front of it. And I thought that would be really cute um, to even sit on a shelf with a stitch on it. So I went ahead for $3 and grabbed that. And then this, we're going to see. This my original thought, but it might be too small now. My original thoughts so this one was also on clearance for five dollars um, and I just love um, like that it's natural and with the beading and so I originally thought that possibly that this one could go in here obviously it would have to have um, like a big fabric um, border but it may end up being too small to go in there but I really like this so I just I need to kind of look and see um, what else that I might be stitching for my stitching room at some point that it can fit in. So it'll just go in the closet for now um, and save it until I'm ready.
So, again, since it is my one year, I don't know if they say flossversary. I don't really know. I don't remember, but it is my one year. So I'm going to do several um, different giveaways, and you don't have to answer any questions. Um, just put number one, two, or three, um, whichever one you'd like. If you like all of them, put one, two, three. Um, and I would just, you know, appreciate you leave me the comment and I will pick the winners before I do my next video. So like I said earlier, this will be number one. And this is Madame Chantilly's The Love Pattern. And it's going to come with the called for DMC, which I've used some for the pattern, but they're still like, most of them are full. Although I did put a 3865 in there brand new also. So that's going to be number one. And then number two and number three um, were generously donated by Primrose Cottage Girls. So number, let's go with number two will be Lovebirds. And that's a cute, cute, cute Valentine's to be stitching now. And then number three is um, Be Mine. So put number one, two, or three in your comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe to my videos. Um, I would appreciate it. And um, if you have any questions, you can always leave them in there and I always answer questions in the comments. And I, I appreciate you watching and viewing my channel today. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I am gonna upload and do a separate video for my 2024 plans for my 12 whips and 12 new starts. Um, so look forward to that coming out in the next week as well. All right, guys. Thanks so much and have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.